I like video games. I mostly like video games in the FPS genre. You have your Call of Duty, Battlefield, CSGO, and Tarkov. All great examples of FPS games for the casual and hardcore gamers alike. There are also many examples that do not get noted by the majority of players. For example, Shadow. Shadowline is a fast-paced multiplayer FPS game with PvP and PvE game modes. Perfect for the people who want something new and fresh. It's a hero shooter with interesting lore. You go against each other in 6v6 and 3v3 in the PvP game modes. Or fight off the crystalline in the PvE game modes. There are 6 operators to choose from which are Mongoose the Demolisher, Melva the Healer, Strix the Defender, Kite the Tactician, Briss the Assassin, and Pill the Reanimator. We don't talk about these two. They don't exist. They are a figment of your imagination. It's a void. It's, a it's just a black screen. What are you looking at? It's nothing. It's just nothing. In PvP, there are currently six game modes where you fight each other on various unique maps with difference in elevations and sceneries. Currently, the game modes are Conquest, Domination, Escort, Barricade, 3v3, and Team Deathmatch. I personally prefer to just play Team Deathmatch because that is, in my opinion, the most fun if all you want to do is go shoot some guys and level up your weapons. That's right, you can level up your weapons. You can unlock attachments for your weapons like sights and muzzle attachments to make your recoil easier to maintain. There are also five tiers of weapons which all have their own attributes. The guns are rifles, sidearms, shotguns, submachine guns and sniper rifles. Before you can get to the next tier of weapons, you need to unlock attachments for the weapons in the previous tier. There are also occasional season weapons you can unlock. Now that you've chosen the weapon you want to use, here are some of the shenanigans you can pull off.
So here is where I would actually just talk about how the game's fun. Go play it. It's on Steam and all that. Um, which was originally the intent of this video, but I, I quit a long while back because I just didn't feel it anymore. Um, and I've only recently found out that the game is getting removed from Steam by the publisher. They are in cahoots now with a NFT uh, scam project. I'm just going to say that outright because the NFTs are a scam. And uh, they're, go they're moving to Epic Game Store and removing everyone's progress and saying fuck you to people who paid shit in that game. They're giving compensation packages, but it's... It <laughs> It's not worth it, in my opinion. So, yeah, the, the game's gone. Uh, as of tomorrow, uh, August 1st, it's, it's, it's the end of an era. Well, end of this game. Um, it could have been great. It, it, it didn't. It, it, it got from bad to worse and worse. They didn't do what I wanted. Like, focus a bit more on the story. Um, like, fix some netcoding issues. And, and some smaller things here and there. But they didn't. So now, like, their entire, like, dev team also, they pulled out. There were, like, 200 plus people, and that was, like, only 56. So, um, yeah, this is great. Um, don't, don't play the game, because it's gonna be gone. Uh, the, the developers that are still there, or at least the publishers, they're just scummy, so I just don't, wouldn't give them money either. Um, so yeah, that's it, actually. Like, uh, the, the recording is done. There, I, I hope to come back to this game, but it, I can't, because I'm not gonna play it on Epic. I'm not gonna give money to NFT bros. I'm not gonna give them anything, really. So, um, instead of this game, I would highly recommend checking other projects. Like, there's the Realm project, which is... Um, a project that is trying to revitalize and revive Lawbreakers from back in the day where it just kind of instantly died because it had to go against uh, Overwatch and it didn't sell on Xbox and other consoles so they shot themselves on the foot. There's a Discord for that, I'll put that in the description. Um, it's pretty interesting. And if you're interested in racing games, there's a uh, Night Runner. So far there's a prologue of that, it's a really interesting and quite fun racing game that's set in like old Japan, or well, not old, but like 1990-80 maybe. Um, that was that's really fun. So far, there's not a whole lot of content, but uh, I'm quite excited for a full release on that one as well. Also, that's where this absolute fire of a track is from. Give it a listen. So, this is it. We're done. I can finally release this into the wild. Oh, side note. Um, like the video. Share it, maybe, if you want. Um, I sometimes stream. I'll put that in the description, if need be. And uh, I might see you in the future somewhere. Who knows? Alright, goodbye.